I'm sitting down with Mary and Dave Davies from Beanstalk Internal Marketing. I've known them in the SEO community for a pretty long time. They're kind of known as the, I don't know, couple everybody wants to be in the SEO community. Um, it's fun and it's going to be an interesting talk having them together in the vlog. I don't think we've ever done a two-person interview, although they work from the same team, their husband and wife, so uh, it should be a fun talk. Looking forward to talking to them about what they do and all the stuff they do for the community as well. All right, so with me is the well-known SEO couple. You should get a handle called SEO couple. That's bad. You don't want to be called SEO couple. No. <laughs> I don't know. Scratch that. No SEO couple. But they are a couple. We are a couple. You've been married for how long? Oh, gosh. No, so long. Like, I don't know, quarter of a century? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And to make it sound extra long? <laughs> you don't look that old. Like, yeah, how old but, you guys are, approximately? Yeah. Like... I, I'm, in, I'm in my early 40s. Early 40s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I'm mid-40s. Okay. Yeah. And our yeah. kids are... We started pretty early, so. gotta be honest. <laughs> How long have you been together in general? Like, like literally, like high school? 23 years. Yeah. No, we met, I, I had moved back here Coffee after uh, a bit of co or a bit of uh, college, and uh, which I'd done in Ottawa, and moved back here. I was in my early 20s, and I met a cute girl at a coffee shop. Yep. And uh, yeah. Ever since then, drinking coffee I, together. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Bad. Hey, let's Very have cool. Some All cute right, I didn't ask you guys who you are, <laughs> so maybe tell people who you are. Okay, I'm Mary, uh, and... Well, I'm, I'm Dave. Dave. Yeah, and so uh, we <laughs> co-run uh, Beanstalk Internet Marketing, cool. and yeah. You have always worked together, or Beanstalk is your first company together? First company together. Yeah, yeah we started in 2004. Yeah. Yeah, 2004. Yep. I don't know. You, so, you've been quiet. You weren't always so public. I guess. No, Dave was a lot more public kind of earlier on. Mm -hmm. I was definitely not. Part of that just being like we had kids and I was doing a lot of like double time. <laughs> doing the like staying back with kids and he was going off speaking more and that sort of thing. So, But know, then they got big enough to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so now they stay at home and they take care of the cat. So you survived working together for over 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. In the SEO industry, which is yeah. you survived yeah. the SEO industry and working together as a couple. Yeah. Which is amazing. Wow. How do you do it? Um, stay in our own lanes. <laughs> and your lane is? UX. Um, I'm, I'm really all about like users and audience and that sort of thing. And he's really into technical. Right. I don't have the patience for trying to understand people. So I just focus on algorithms. That's yeah. awesome. So what's that uh, site? Craigslist. So you like Craigslist. The design. <laughs> and you're more of like, uh, what's a beautiful website to look at? I don't even know. Uh, I don't know. I usually spend my time picking them apart. Not, yeah. <laughs> not, not saying true. what's so great about them. But cool. yeah, no, it's, it's actually a really great balance because and we'll probably get into like earlier on sort of, you know, back in the day where it was a huge divide in the user experience and that sort of thing. And now it's getting a little bit more blended, but yeah, but nice. uh, yeah, he, he liked to just like break stuff, break stuff. And I like to make it pretty. So, but it rang, <laughs> it was just broken. That's all. You know, I guess since 2004, you remember the old days, it was literally put up a one page, mm -hmm. hacked together a web page, just throw a bunch of links to it. Yep. Yeah. You got yourself. A and I was doing, nice. I started in web design, so yeah. I wasn't even in, like I wasn't doing SEO. I learned SEO um, because he kept breaking everything I would build. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's I good. I, it's... I, helped, I helped direct a career. Yes, you, you uh, molded <laughs> he her into what you want. He did. That's and amazing. I was like, stop touching my stuff. <laughs> it's like, if I keep doing this job wrong, she'll eventually just do it for me. I get, I get that, but it was working. The way you were doing early worked. It, it did. Was. Yeah. It was. And then it got really, really complicated. So yep. your wife had to step up. Well, that's it. And then there, there was that constant <laughs> argument, as, as I think a lot of people had at the time, where it's like, well, it's irrelevant whether it converts if right. nobody can ever find the thing. And then eventually it hit that point where she's when it's like, well, actually, it's irrelevant whether it ranks if nobody buys from it. It's like, that's oh, true. yeah, that part. But there were so many ugly sites there in the were. early to mid 2000s. Yeah. So it, it, was like, it didn't matter. Mine was just one more ugly site among ugly sites. And those sites were mostly affiliate stuff, just big picture of the brand, click here to buy from them, take it to their site, yep. let them deal with it. So, yep. but now it's like kind of goes hand in hand. It's like, it doesn't make a difference. You won't rank well if your site doesn't look well or doesn't perform well for users. Right. So you're out of a job. <laughs> we don't need you anymore. No, that's right. All right, perfect. It's time to retire. 100% of the uh, company is now owned by it's you. All, it's all yours. It's all mine. No, yeah. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all the problems that go with it are yours. Yeah. No. All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, SEO versus user experience. I know you're speaking at XMX on the UX side. I am. Anything you want to share that's kind of novel? Kind of novel? Well, I'm bad with novel. Um, novel. 
but everybody's gonna be watching, so they're expecting something really something brilliant. Something really brilliant? I got, I, I don't know. It, like, to me, <laughs> user experience yeah. is so actually simplistic that that's what's novel about it. Right. Like, I think people overthink it. I'm like, what do you digest? What do you interact with? What do you like when you're out on the web? When you're trying to buy whatever it is you're trying to buy? It's not that complicated. Right. It's really just stopping that whole, like, especially people who've been in the industry as long as we have sort of getting in front of yourself and going, no, don't do that sort of, you know, bad behavior that I did do 10 years ago or whatever, and just start to like, look at it a little bit less from the eyes of just like- Google. Google. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, so. But Google's starting to look at it from the eyes of a user. So it is, you know, we're getting that beautiful sort of right. moment that I was hoping for for 15 years. <laughs> exactly. Like old fashioned <laughs> UX used to be, for at least Google was about, could Google find all the pages on your site? Right. Past yeah. the page rank and yeah. all that link juice. And now yeah. it's more about, all right, let's think about both things. Can the users find what they're looking yeah. for? Can they convert? And yeah. also while you're at it, can Google do that? But also Google is really good at finding stuff, even if you're trying to hide it from them. So <laughs> it's like they've been at this a while. Yeah, right? And they've yeah. kind of seen some of the things that have gone on. Remember like white text on white background. Right. So, yeah, it's like, ideas. I see what you did there. Yeah, really. And it's just amazing. Somebody yesterday tweeted out saying, it's, look at this, this feature snippet that's on Google. If you click on it and you go to the page, it's purely rendered on JavaScript. It looks like a text page. For some reason, right. this guy uh. produced a page completely in JavaScript, so you can't actually select all and copy the content. It's all like render like on the fly. And it's really, it looks like an old Flash site that looks like an HTML page. I'm not sure why the person spent time <laughs> doing that, so it looks like an old fashioned HTML some page. Some of us do weird stuff. Yeah, it wasn't you? <laughs> no, but some of us do weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cool, and then on the SEO side, what are you mostly doing? Uh, uh, breaking stuff every day. Well, I break, I break a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, now it's it's much more purposeful than it used to be. It's like, oh, what happens if I break this stuff, right? Um, and, and it's not hers to uh, not hers to fix. Most of the job ends up being like from a from an actual work standpoint. Now on, on my side is it's mostly on the sort of technical, make sure the I's are dotted and T's are crossed, so the UX can step in and do its job, right? And I mean by UX, I mean I'm getting larger to you know a bigger picture, like the content writers and the. Basically, making sure that the, the framework is there, the, the the body is healthy, right? Um, so you can go out and, and interact with the world on the side. I, I guess I'm speaking on it later. I'm super interested in entities, so we're we're building a number of different tools around okay, entity cool. calculations. Were those tools going to be hosted like on, your, on your website? Yeah, they will be. So check them out. By the time this video is out, hopefully, when when, when do you they're probably going to be another month to two months away, and they'll be they'll be in a, a beta. It's, it's really hard to wrap the visualization around tools. I think any tool developer they'll be like, yeah, it's really hard to make something that's complicated easy to understand as soon as you put it on a on a screen. So so this video will be out after that probably. So if you want to, I'm going to put a URL right over there somewhere. <laughs> what should the URL be? In here. Right there. Um, it'll be Beanstalk I am. Uh, slash. dot com slash tools and then there'll be a, a, a few tools there but the entity calculation tool will be there you right go. at the top. So look for it and if you have any problems with it or if you want to break it, go ahead. Go ahead and break it. He's probably broken a few times too. I've already broken it many <laughs> so times. How's that tool going to help, um, let's say, the average SEO? Well, what it does or, or what its its core function when, I guess, when this video is probably released, it'll, it'll evolve from there. Um, but is to run crawls across competitor sites against your sites and not just do a comparison over specific subjects, but actually cover which entities are being, discuss being discussed at, at what volume, what is the sentiment of these entities being discussed, um, and then sort of compare one site versus another, and then allow you to just sort of drop some copy and paste some content in and do an evaluation of the entities on your page and see, do they match? It was inspired by a client who is in, is in travel and there's a lot of towns and stuff like that, but I'll refer to them as entities in his zone and it was really hard to map them all together why his competitors were outranking them and so I started running them through these tools. So you think you're one of those SEOs that are all in on entities and that type of topic? Oh of yeah, my, my opening slide is it's the single most important concept the in single, search. More than PageRank from 2004. Yes, more than PageRank. Well, Although I'm writing an article on PageRank in, in, <laughs> in a couple of weeks. So forget PageRank. It's all about entities. Entities. And, and they will talk your And then forget about, about UX. It. You don't need even UX. As no. long as you have your entities, you're good. Well, yeah, I guess the UX kind of helps the entity structure it, Well, they, I mean, that would be where I, as a technical SEO, would step in and go, here's the entities we need. Now. Now. Make that look right. Right? It's like you should have a different designer than a developer, in my opinion. Right? right. It's like, okay, make... The designer will make a pretty thing, hand it to a developer, they'll build it to be light on code, right? So 
Right, makes sense. It's interesting because we had a conversation here at XMX yesterday. I forgot what a, who spoke about this. Basically said, oh, Morty from Rank Ranger basically mm -hmm. said, for people who do more than one thing, they specialize in more than one thing, mm -hmm. and their entities are saying, like, let's say they're really good at SEO, but they're also like a DJ at night. Mm -hmm. like, like Lily. Lily right? Like Lily. Yeah. And they're like, all right, so which, what do we associate this person with? Are they an SEO or are they a DJ? Right. And he shared an example of like a football player who also was a, I think a judge or something, a US judge or something, or a senator yeah. or somebody. And, the, and Google was all confused about who this person is. Do we associate this person with football players? Yeah. Or do we associate this person as like a judge? Mm -hmm. So for everybody watching, do one thing and only one thing and don't multitask <laughs> ever. <laughs> That's the advice, right? It, well, it does, it gets interesting. There's actually a patent on entities that covers exactly that. Okay, forget Question. everything I just said. <laughs> um, well, no, but it, it, I mean, the, the, the example they used and, and it is the right one, uh, or it's a great one to use is Trump, right? Is he a businessman? Yeah. Or is he a president, right? Yes. Which one is he and, and how do you calculate these president. things? Right, but, and, and sort of how- politics. Nothing like getting politics <laughs> Exactly like getting into some Trump talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This isn't- this isn't you're from Canada, right? I, I am, yeah. So yeah. you don't care about the US elections. We oh, we say we don't. Do I would they say care. we're pretty involved. Yeah. I, I first went for? to college like... for- <laughs> We can't vote, right? We can't vote. We can't vote. No, but can't we vote. did actually watch the last election, like in a pub, we like hunkered down as oh, yeah? Canadians were like, what's gonna happen? I know, I don't care. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna work more hours and build my clients more. That's all I, can do. Yeah. I have no control over who gets elected. I'm in New York, so literally it doesn't make a difference doesn't if I vote difference. for anybody. You know what, we're like that, like, cause we're like far west coast in Canada and like our vote, we all joke about it. It's like when we have a Canadian election, we could all just stay home and right. it wouldn't change yeah. anything. I'd yeah. rather spend like two hours instead of waiting in a, vo a voting pool than working actually. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about eats since we're talking a lot about Trump and... <laughs> and we're gonna change that subject. <laughs> yeah, so eat. Um, Danny Sullivan just said this morning or last night <clears throat> that Google's algorithm doesn't specifically look at eat. Right. Right. <laughs> well, but they want the algorithms to align when the output of the algorithm shows you search results that the human quality raters will actually say, all right, these are good results based on the eat metrics and the quality raters. Well, and I'll, there's a slide uh, in my deck. I should have seen it. That it, like the search quality Raiders guidelines inform and sort of like, no, it's not the algorithm, but that is what they're sort of basing the algorithm on. So we've had, everybody's had this round and round and round and round and round talk. I love it, yes. Like you can <laughs> word it however you want, but yeah. like. If it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I've, I, personally, I find it really smart of what Google's done. They slowly got rid of PageRank, or at least mm -hmm. all the indicators. Mm -hmm. And they got SEOs to kind of obsess, not about page rank, they're obsessing about DA, of course, which they can't control. Right. Uh, it's a more of a Moz marketing thing. But now they're really all obsessing about the quality raters guidelines. And right. all the quality raters guidelines does really is get people to obsess about building a really great website. Yeah. Which is exactly what we want. So I think, <laughs> I don't know whose idea that was, but they were kind of always secretive about it. We have these quality rater guidelines. We don't want yeah. to leak it. It got leaked like for a couple of years straight. Yeah. And then like, I think somebody's like, I think maybe Matt Cutts or somebody at Google, maybe Gary, I forgot who. They will be upset if I mention the wrong person. <laughs> said, all right, let's go ahead and release it. I think they didn't do it because they wanted to. They do it because it was so leaked so often. Right. But they should have released it years ago because then SEOs would have been building, pushing for better websites. Better websites. Yeah. And you know, they might've been worried about the, accidental byproducts like they probably yes. thought it's a great idea if we give people this green bar called page rank and and then you know those those searchers can understand the quality and though what they did was they monetized links for us all yeah. right it's like oh well it's a six that's worth four hundred dollars i mean i'm not saying <laughs> you should no. do that i was an affiliate marketer back have, then when he, he takes paypal <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we did happen to learn that lesson really fast on the very, very early affiliate days. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, this this is like a little affiliate site. It's just like making like five grand on the side that I don't have to do yeah. anything with. Let's sell a link. Oh. Yeah. Now it makes $100. Now it makes $100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do miss the old days. Those were fun. Like just experimenting with like yeah. link networks and yeah. these all these like hidden under, underground stuff yeah. and yeah. Just seeing how Google reacts to it. And they reacted so fast. It oh, was yeah. like, you can rank for anything with that matter of like a day or two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember sitting around for the old page rank updates? Yep. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, like yeah. waiting on oh, Webmaster World. All right, data center, this is updating. That yeah. data center is updating. We'll run McDar watching the like different. Yes, it was the good old days. But now again, we have boring UX, no offense. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. But cool. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to say about that topic of SEO? 
it's a broad topic. That is a really, really <laughs> broad topic. I mean, on the on the subject of, I think it it heads down into a, an interesting path, and you, you sort of touched on it. Is I mean, Google's always going to say stuff like that. I mean, Matt Cutts, I, I remember him like back in the early days, like being asked about sandboxes and going, "Well, there there is no sandbox. There might just be algorithmic functions that look and act like one." It's like, <laughs> okay, then then right. kind of there is one, and it's like, okay, eat isn't an algorithm. No, it's not. It's not an algorithm, right. but it's it's. There's sort no, of creating the algorithm around it. Right. There is no eat score. There, it's all semantics, and people just yeah. love to argue about that stuff. Yeah. But the outcome should all be the same. Build beautiful websites that make people happy. Yeah. That make Google happy. Well, and and everybody's happy. Yeah. Totally. That's, that's sort of like the main person. point. <laughs> I missed the old days. I'm sorry. Go, like, <laughs> yeah, I know. It was a lot easier then. <laughs> the it's like, oh, is, I want to rank for a competitive phrase. Just bomb 10,000 links on it. Happiness was not a factor. And as, yeah. as uh, John would so say, no, awesomeness. It's <laughs> but it's like there's, you know, there's there's so many options for so many users. And there's so many places to go and so many places to be. And like if, Go if Google's users aren't happy, they lose them. And their main commodity is all the sites that we're building. So they got to, you know, they've got to be great. Which transitions us into the last topic I wanted to discuss. Although this is a kind of a long video, so hopefully you guys are still watching. If you are, I'm happy for you. Uh, <laughs> but happiness is a very important topic to you guys, right? Yeah. And you guys have a column in Search Engine Journal about uh, happiness and mental awareness yeah. and stuff like that. And you guys have shown a tremendous job in the SEO community trying to make everybody feel included and make everybody feel happy, I guess, on some level. So appreciate everything you do there. If there's anything you want to talk about with that or... I don't know. The only thing I would say, and this is like, of course... No offense, because I want you to be happy. I would say, I would reword it to not, I don't want everyone to be happy because we're not always happy. And that's part of what we want to do is we want everyone to talk and feel safe and able to say, I'm not happy today right. and I need help and reach out. But I want everyone to exactly what you said, like feel included, feel part of the team. Like it's a, it's a big industry, but it's a small industry. Like there's so many of us that just like get to trip over each other at conferences and online and whatever all the time. And it can get, you know, a little sibling rivalry and a little tripping over each other sometimes and you know good ways and bad ways and I just I think that there's a lot of room for everybody to hug it out and feel good and support each other and have lots of hey you're getting the call yeah, <laughs> have lots of, have lots I get of. so many spam calls it's still recording I believe so we could keep but, going but yeah yeah I know anyway but Those yeah spam calls make don't make me happy <laughs> Those I, don't make you happy. I get like no. one every like See, and you could talk minutes. about that we could have a whole that moment. makes me feel better <laughs> I don't like spam calls. Stop <laughs> calling my cell phone. But yeah, yeah. It's no. Julie, your local Google specialist. <laughs> I know, right? I just, I absolutely <laughs> love the community that we have. I really do. Yeah. Like, you know, I didn't get on a lot of stages for a really long time because it made me really uncomfortable and really nervous and I felt a lot like I didn't belong and I shouldn't be there. And it's been amazing the support that I've seen for myself and for other people just going like, no, you're, you know, you were so capable and you should be here. And, you know, we all suffer from that little bit of imposter syndrome and, and uh, self-doubt and everything. So it's great to see everybody, you know, uplifting and working together. Keep up the good work, people. Yeah. <laughs> Any events, uh, thank you so much for doing this. How can people thank follow you. you guys and learn more about you? Um, oh, I'm on Twitter, Twitter at Beanstalk. I Beanstalk. honestly am not on Twitter a lot. He's, he's, you're more Facebook, right? I am definitely more Facebook. You're more yeah. Twitter. I'm and more Twitter. He, he's on Twitter. Yeah. I'm more Twitter also. I just, yeah. I'm on Facebook too, but I just don't feel. Facebook. If you can't say it in 140 characters, it's probably not worth hearing. See, but this no, is the thing. Twitter, <laughs> I get frustrated because I'm, I'm not very good at saying concise. Right. I'm like, oh, there's so many more words I need to shove in here that I can't. <laughs> so yeah, he's at Beanstalk. I am. There you go. Like the letter. Follow I them. Am. Check out their new tools, and please reach out to them with a big hug. Not during the coronavirus time. That's bad. No, no touching. No, 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 no touching. Okay. No touching. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, thanks, thanks Gary. <laughs>